What's up, nice to build? It's your boy Buckmaster. Twice that nice that you are used to. <coughs> Bam! Ah, uh, we are here today, and we are talking about Avengers: Infinity War. Avengers: Infinity War. Avengers: Infinity War. Avengers: Infinity War. Avengers. I just probably stop doing that. I I just stop doing that. I just probably stop doing that. Yeah, I mean. But anyway, yeah, we are here with Avengers: Infinity War, and I want to talk about the three problems that I have. Infinity War. Okay. Before everybody lose their mind. Okay, before everybody lose their mind. I alright, I just wanna say, I just wanna say, I just wanna say. Keyboard warriors, I hear you. I hear I hear fingers by the keyboards. Let us um, Kumbaya, let us calm down. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, 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 hey. Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you, player. Let me holler at you. Let me holler at you for a second. Let me holler at you. Okay? Look, movie was fantastic and it lived up to the hype. All right? It did. It really did. Like, it lived up to the hype. I'm not even a man that lived up to the hype. Thanos lived up to the hype. It lived up to the hype, all right? It did. It did. It really did. Okay? It really did. Okay? I'm, uh, that's all I'm saying. It did. All right? It did. Now, that being said, though, I still got three problems. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still got, I still got three problems with, it's just three. It's just three. You know what I'm saying? If you're having comic problems, they feel bad for you, son. <laughs> Ain't got 99 problems, but these three ain't one. Something like that. I freestyled that off the top of my head. It made, it, it sounded cooler in my head, but I'm gonna keep it in the video anyway. Look, uh, let me, let me break it down for you, okay? And before I do, I just wanna say, spoiler, 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 spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Problem number one. The inconsistency of those two henchmen in the Black Order. Okay? La 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 Okay? Me, this was a big issue. Me, this this was like, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Cause Wanda and Vision have legitimate like the bad Osiris superpowers. They do. I'm just saying they do, okay? These there's some heavy hitters in the, in the Avengers. I'm saying, even in the MCU, especially in the MCU, when you look at the roster, um, man, you want them to in your fight, okay? That's all I'm saying. But when the Black Order gets to drop on them, Vision gets beat like a pinata. Wanda, uh, Wanda's running a freaking marathon. You know what I'm saying? Scarlet Witch is running a marathon. And like these two henchmen are hanging with two of like these are some of the most powerful Avengers that are in comic books and in movies. You know I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? And these Black Order dudes are hanging with them. Okay, they are. They are hanging with them. Man. For real, for real. Then Captain America and Black Widow and Falcon to the rescue. Like I love Falcon. Hey, I'm like I love Falcon. I love Falcon. All right. Especially MCU Falcon, that is an update to Falcon in the 616 continuity. Don't at me with that one, but I love Falcon. I do, I do, I, lo I love Falcon. But come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. If, he, if they whooping on Vision and Scarlet Witch, Captain America, Black Widow, and Falcon are going to be the ones for the, to the rescue. Really? With the, with the acrobatic tandem step team routine? Those are the guys that are gonna rescue you guys? Like, I'm, I'm just like, nah. It, like, it's like the, those two henchmen got nerfed. As soon as Captain America stepped onto the scene, he was like, nerfing power, activate. And forget the Infinity Stone, the nerf power is real out in these streets, son. He just 
nerf power and power of justice, and they were just like, oh, no, Captain America, Black Widow, Captain Falcon. That's what happened. <laughs> let's, let's, let's face facts. That's what happened. And I'm just like, come on, if you're going to be building up this super force of Thanos, they cannot be getting spanked, and they got spanked. They got, they, they got, it, it was like, it was hammer time. It was literally, like, it was like Captain America, Black Widow, and Falcon stepped onto the scene and they were just like, hammer time. You can't touch this. Me, 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 Okay, no. All right. Problem number two. Problem number two. The disrespect of Wakanda. Wakanda forever. Okay, so let me break this down first. No, no, it's not because he's black. I know you racist out there. Commenting in the comment section, talking about us because he black and saying stupid stuff like we was kings. That's basically the. Okay, first off, why don't you take your troll musty ass outside and go play somewhere? Yeah, preferably out of somebody's sight so they don't have to see how ugly your rat's ass is. But anyway. This is not about the screen time that they gave him, okay? Because I've been seeing articles, people are complaining about the screen time, and then other people will jump on them and say, if you want to see Black Panther, just go see Black Panther. I don't know why you want to watch Avengers and you want to see Black Panther. Look, 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 okay? Look, all right? I keep trying to see both sides of the spectrum, and I'm a huge Black Panther fan. This is not a secret on my channel you Black Panther fan, but I can see both sides of it, you check? All right, so let me break down side number one, the people that wanted to see more Black Panther. First of all, Black Panther was the marketing ploy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was the marketing ploy. Let's not be, let's not, let's not be real. Let's, let's not, let's not, let's not, let's not be, let's not, let's not split hairs. Let's not do semantics. No, 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 no. He was the marketing ploy. Okay, for Avengers Infinity War. That's real, because the movie made a lot of money. It, like, it made a lot of money, and it's the king of solo films. That's right, Black Panther's the king of solo films. Y'all know this. For sure, for sure. But, but at the same time, he is the newest, he is the newcomer. He is. Even before Spider-Man and before the Guardians of the Galaxy, he's the newcomer. So I expected the time cut. That's not where the disrespect of Black Panther happened for me. No, not really. He's the newcomer, and I, I, I expected it, okay? It was just like, uh, yeah. I didn't like it, personally, but I, I, I expected it to happen, okay? I expected it to happen, all right? The disrespect for me is when they show the Wakandans versus Thanos' forces. That's where the disrespect occurred for me. And I'm just like, okay. So, Black Panther and Avengers Infinity War are still in the theaters together. Did the Russo brothers not go see Black Panther? Like, did they did they just forget about that movie? It feels like that to me. Honestly, honestly, it feels like that to me because let, let's let's get something straight here. Let's get something straight here. In Black Panther, we get to see not even the majority of the force, not the forces that they can be, I'm sure in Black Panther 2 maybe they'll expand, in Black Panther 3 they'll expand, but we get to see a good chunk of the military might of Wakanda, okay? That's that, like, we get to see a good chunk of the military might of Wakanda, right, in Black Panther. So, in regards to that, why do we only have two tribes fighting Thanos' forces. Like, that, that's an inconsistency of note. I, I'm just saying. We only have the Ape Tribe and the Dora Milaje. That's it. That's, that's the King Strategist in effect right there is, I ain't gonna call all of those other tribes that I'm king of. I ain't gonna call that tribe where my girlfriend had the spinny disc thingies that could have been very useful in, in the war. I'm not gonna call them, nah. I'm just gonna call the two tribes. That's all I'm calling. I'm calling them. That's it. Like, really? Like, I thought 
he was the eighth smartest man in the world and, and a genius strategist and you know all of that other cool stuff that the Black Panther is and he's not gonna call the other forces in Wakanda to come defend Wakanda like I'm sorry that, that that that's an inconsistency of Newt right there I'm I'm just saying logically speaking that don't make no sense in my mind because if you fight in the forces of Thanos that are straight up billions of monster thingies you want to bring out the entire might of Wakanda don't you it's just that's a strategical ploy to protect to protect bitch I'm, I'm just saying you might want to do that I mean makes sense to me that doesn't make not does it not make sense to you I'm just saying it felt like they forgot about all the other tribes in Wakanda and it felt like they forgot about a lot of the technology in Wakanda that's real I, I for me that's that's real I mean like you know what I'm saying they didn't bring out any of the planes of Wakanda they didn't bring out all of those army launching things of Wakanda they didn't use the explosive spears of you know those spears of Wakanda I'm just, I'm just saying they didn't utilize Wakanda to full effect it kind of felt like they just took a portion of it and they said oh this is the cool stuff people remember let's just use some of it but I'm just saying Wakanda warrior state warrior nation nation that trades in war nation that is terror itself and they 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 forgot to bring the rest of the people like like why what happened i bet if i was on the eight crew i'd be looking at where's the mountain tribe and uh, where, where's the river tribe and where's that other tribe you know what i'm saying it's, it's, it's i mean really i mean re really king really king this that's what we're gonna do now they get to go on break I gotta die while Mbutu is taking a vacation overseas. Is that what we're doing, King? Is that is that Wakanda now? That's Wakanda? I'm just saying. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I was like, that that for me was the disrespect. It's because they didn't utilize Wakanda to full effect. Wakanda could have been a plot device for all that it was being a plot device. I'm fine with that. But if you're going to introduce it and you're going to send it to war, you got to bring out its full capabilities because face facts they weren't at their a game when they was going to war with thanos's forces don't at me with that one that's real so number three number three I'm trying to get some of my french back sorry 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 french people um yeah number three for me was the ending of avengers infinity war now before any of y'all get mad it was not exclusively to Black Panther my rage about the ending of the movie. That's not exclusively to Black Panther, okay? I'm just saying, they killed off everybody that's supposed to be part of Phase 2, right? So everybody that died is coming back. So if they are coming back, they're going to effectively undo whatever Thanos did to bring them people back. You see what I'm saying? So Thanos don't really win. It's, it's just like, it's the equivalent like, oh, oh. Restart, redo, I don't like that ending, bring it back, that's, that's what they're going to do, I mean, that's what they have to do effectively now, they're bringing themselves into a corner where they have to do that, they literally have to reverse everything that happened from before, and it's just kind of like, come on, y'all could have committed to Thanos winning in this one. I really think they could have. They could have committed to Thanos winning. And you know how they commit? They wipe out the original cast. I'm just saying, there was all that speculation of people who were going to die and all of that stuff. If you committed to wiping out the original cast of the Avengers, Thanos wins. <laughs> like, definitively. Flawless. Flawless victory. I'm just saying, he wins. Like, there's no do-over. Like, they just have to deal with the fact that they've lost half of the Avengers and they lost the original Avengers that made the Avengers the Avengers. I'm just saying, that's a, that's a win on the level of the Dark Knight. I mean, think about it. Joker technically won because he twisted 
Two-Face. You know what I'm saying? He twisted Harvey Dent to become Two-Face. So the, the, the nice face in Gotham ended up becoming one of his ugliest faces ever thanks to the Joker's machination. So he, he won. He won. Now apply that to an Avengers movie. You ain't never seen a villain win like that. Never, ever, ever. Never has a villain's, never has a villain's actions been that permanent. Okay? That would have been the most, that would have been, like, like I said, flawless. But now we're just gonna be like, okay, bring it back now. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, this is really this. And Charlie Brown. Let's circle now. Let's circle now. That's what's gonna happen, basically. It's, it's going, it's, it's, it feels like it's gonna just go in a circle for me, personally. That's how I feel. It's gonna go in a circle. So yeah, I'm just like, nah man, you guys could have committed. I really think you could have committed. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a nerd on the internet. <laughs> Look, anyway, if you guys agree with me, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know. Tell me what you're thinking. Tell me if I'm right, tell me if I'm wrong. Call me all sorts of monkeys and jigaboos because I mentioned Black Panther. <laughs> uh, hey, my comment section is free for all. You know, because I don't care. I really don't care. I only pay attention to the positive anyway. I don't care about negative in particular. But, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If, if you take it too far or whatever, you know, I, I'm, I'm lazy to make an effort to block racist pigs, so I don't care. But, uh, anyway, look, just let me know. Let me know what you're thinking, all right? Hey, Meisterville and anybody out there, let me know what you're thinking. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I tripping? Am I not tripping? Let me know. Let me know. Tell me your thoughts. Okay? And if you guys like this video, please like, share, subscribe. You know, them three step programs. And I'll see you all in another video because my stream has got to be out. Peace.